this one ought to hold you. Quickly, Pinky. We must make haste and escape from this wretched hole. Point! Oh, I rather like it. It's homey without losing that bracing dankness. <sighs> Quiet, Pinky. I'm calculating. I'm not just another one of their sad and pitiful rodents suitable for nothing better than inane experiments. Um, <laughs> perhaps that was a poor choice of words, Brain. <laughs> How's about we do a little experimenting on you? Yeah, it's your fault they put us in this new cage. You and your big escapes. Wait, wait. It's vitally important to all mice less intelligent members of the species, that one mouse rise in station against impossible odds. What do he say? He means Narv. Or is it Point? Thank you, Pinky. That was bordering on coherence. I speak of hope, gentlemen. Clear and simple hope. Yeah, yeah, don't get all puffy on us, head boy. There's no hope here. Specialties for you! Wait, wait. Let me tell you all a story. Oh no, nothing doing! No stories! Not a story! Uh, no Anything way. but a story! More is the pity. This is a story of Spain in the 16th century. Ah, 16th century Spain! Why didn't you say so? Go on! But I like a happy ending, I do. I shall impersonate a mouse, one Don Cerebro de la Mancha, who sallies forth on his gallant steed. No. Am I in this story too? Of course. Don Cerebro is assisted in this noble quest by his squire, Sancho Pinky. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Together they set out to do the impossible, to take over the world for the benefit of all rodent kind. Listen up, all you sniveling and cowardly mice. You may live in your cage if you please. But not I, for I've learned not to take just a slice when I'm destined to have the whole cheese. It is I, Don Cerebro, the mouse of La Mancha. I'm blessed with a huge frontal lobe. For a mouse with my power, it won't take an hour. I plan to take over the globe. I plan to take over the globe. Thanks to my huge frontal lobe. I'm Pinky, yes, I'm Pinky. I point and I love and I say, Egad, I botch up his plans daily. Then he conks me when he's mad. <laughs> Pay attention, you nobles and peasants of Spain. You may think that I haven't a chance. But I have an immensely superior brain. And he's wearing aluminum pearls. In his eye, oh, Don Cerebro, I'm the best. mouse oh, of I'm the mancha. I'm blessed with the... Cerebro! Are you all right? What has transpired, Sancho Pinky? You are knocked off your horse by that huge multi-armed monster. That is not a monster, Sancho Pinky. That is a windmill, a source of power and food for humans. God, Don Cerebro! If the humans didn't have windmills, they'd be... horribly inconvenienced. That's brilliant, Sancho Pinky. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Um... I think so, Don Cerebro, but, um, why would Sophia Loren be a musical? A worthy enigma, Sancho Pinky. But a more pressing concern occupies my superior intellect. If we stop the windmills from making flour for bread, we'll bring the humans to their knees. Then, as they grovel for food and power, we will take over the world! El Narfo! Come, Sancho Pinky. We must obtain supplies. <laughs> 